There is something really important in Japanese culture. It's kūki o yomu. It means reading the air. And this is something that every single Japanese person has to do when he lives in society. And this is really inspiring for our character's behavior. Today we are in Tokyo, and uh, this is a very important uh, city and, uh, and country for uh, our project. It's really inspired about how Japanese people also interact in their society. It's about respect, about to be nice to the other, and we are really inspired about the work they are doing on Japanese anime. Usually um, we are putting robots in science fiction, and what we are doing with Miroka and Miroki is putting science fiction into robots. So we are thinking upside down and we want the movie, we want to become a reality in a place where we are. People are afraid about AI sometimes, they are afraid about robots. Most of them are like cold and scary. And we want to go to the opposite way. We want to do something that when you see it, it inspires you something. We, we are not just doing robots, we want to do characters. That's why our job is through that magic to make people forget about technology and just live an experience. The opportunity is to change the way we see the technology, to look again what, what is around us and being once again amazed by um, daily things, you know? We want him to make people feel like magic exists. And this is something interesting to explore and it gives the opportunity also to enhance the user experience. A character is also important because nobody has to learn something to know how to interact with a character. It's something very deep inside us. And if we can create a technology that, that is the most natural, the most instinctive way to interact with technology, then if we can do that and at the same time uh, bring some uh, marvel in the daily life, then we could achieve something uh, amazing.